Hi, I'm Oli Kesso and I'm the founder of Cycling Without Age. And I'm out cycling with Torki, my friend, who's 97. Uh, I met Torki uh, two and a half years ago when I was cycling to work. And I saw him sitting on a bench and I thought he would probably enjoy cycling. And he probably did when he was a young man. And so one day uh, I hired a rickshaw and uh, I started taking the residents from the local nursing home out for rides. And it was such a joy both for me and for the residents that we kept doing it and it inspired lots of people uh, around Copenhagen and then very soon in cities all around Denmark. In just two and a half years after that first ride with Torquil, Cycling Without Age has spread from one pilot and one bike to 300 locations and 2,000 volunteer pilots in Denmark and Norway, which means that 20,000 elderly people now have the opportunity to strike up new friendships and once again be part of their local community. Now we need your help to bring Cycling Without Age to your city. Because now that Ole Kasso has uh, started this project with the uh, Rich House, then uh, we suddenly get a completely different life because we are being counted. When you're an old person and you are put into a nursing home and perhaps you've lost your relatives or your spouse, this is going to have a negative effect very often on your mental health. The most important thing is uh, to bring uh, young people and old people together. The first time I tried biking in a rickshaw, I didn't, I have no idea what I was doing, but afterwards I just felt so energetic. I biked with a man who lost his wife some months ago and, um, and he was looking for his wife all the time and he was very sad and then we went for a ride, uh, him and his daughter and me, and then all of a sudden his daughter just looks at her father and she says, oh my God, Dad, this is the first time you smiled since mom died. So that was a very, very, yeah, touching experience. Cycling without age. It is more than to cycle. It is about to learn to know each other. You get friendships. We're now in the workshop where these wonderful, highly specialized machines are being built and being shipped off to cities across Denmark. But it's not just about the bikes. It's also about educating people, locals around the country, to get the most out of these bikes. We received hundreds of emails from people around the world, which is amazing um, and totally surprising and many of whom are actually now getting involved in setting up a chapter for cycling without age in their cities. I'm Dile from Aquitaine, France. I'm from Fairfield, Iowa, USA. From Buenos Aires, Argentina. And I'm Megan, the Netherlands. I am Jared Bedowski from Lutheran Homes of Oshkosh, Wisconsin, USA. In Singapore, the people who are aging now are called pioneers. That's because they built Singapore out of nothing. In Cycling Without Age, we want to take the pioneers out to sense and feel the pulse of the place they started exactly 50 years ago. We have great nature and beautiful parks, and I would love for the senior citizens here in West Hartford to be able to experience all that and to get wind in their hair. We want less cars and more cycling for every age. Yeah. That's true greatness. You heard it from them, you heard it from me. Now we're asking for your help to raise money for bicycles like these and for know-how to be uh, sent around the world to cities and countries where people, passionate people, locals, are looking to implement this in their local community to help improve the lives of the elderly. Please help us reach the campaign target. Thank you very much. Mange, mange, oh. Oh.